What's up guys, it's Koi from Gentleman Within, a channel dedicated to helping men dress better and feel their best. And in this video, we're talking five men's style trends for 2019 that you can wear right now. Sure, there are a lot of bad men's style and fashion trends out there right now. However, this video is not focused on those. Sure, off-white, Gucci, and Balenciaga are trendy, but this video is gonna focus on the trends that you can feel safe experimenting with today. Starting with style trend number one, we've got the monochrome or tone on tone. Monochromatic outfits are underrated when it comes to menswear. Not only does it make dressing so much easier, but it's also really hard to get wrong. And I think a lot of men can benefit from experimenting with this low contrast aesthetic, especially shorter guys. And so how to wear monochromatic or or tonal outfits. A good starting place is navy and gray as there's a good chance that these colors are already mainstays in your wardrobe. Another excellent tonal pairing is cream, beige, and white. Monochrome doesn't mean that all of these colors have to be the same shade. It's okay to have contrast within a color family. For example, wearing a dark navy jacket with lighter blue trousers. It's still monochrome, but that tonal contrast helps to keep things visually interesting. Another form of tonal dressing is to play with different colors, but in similar shades so that there's little contrast. This makes for an overall streamlined and harmonious look. A good example of this is this outfit right here where I'm wearing a turtleneck under a suit jacket in navy and brown. Jumping in with style trend number two, we've got clean tailoring. I'd say that a clean tailored aesthetic is enduring style. Over the past several years, there's been a heavy sway towards streetwear. We're talking logo mania, bold prints, loud patterns, and oversized everything. Have you ever been to the tailor? Well, this is the guy that can help you achieve that crispy closet. What I mean is that a tailor can hone in on the little details of each piece, whether that's the way your pants break or the shape of your suit jacket's silhouette. How to wear a tailored aesthetic. Clean tailoring is perfect for sharp and suited looks. Anytime you put on a suit or a blazer with odd trousers, you'll want for the fit to be flawless. Clean tailoring will help to elevate a man from slub to success in an instant. It's all about the little details here. You want for your shirt cuff to peek out from under your jacket sleeve about a quarter to a half of an inch ideally. For the trousers, I prefer a fitted aesthetic with a generous taper towards the ankle and clean no break or very little break over my shoes. More often than not, when you see a man killing it with his suit game, it's due to clean tailoring. Style trend number three is the casual runner. The casual running, scratch that, lifestyle sneaker is an essential that never really went out of style. They're ultra comfortable and also really stylish, which makes them perfect for everyday casual wear. My current favorite running sneaker is the Nike Internationalist. It boasts a classic yet contemporary silhouette that checks all of the boxes that I look for in a casual sneaker comfort, style, and versatility. These casual classics are a trend that I see going on through 2019 and a lot of guys are gonna be swapping their brogues out for these casual sneakers. And so how to wear casual running sneakers. Running sneakers are inherently casual and so they're best to be worn with casual getups. I recommend wearing these casual sneaks with cropped jeans or chinos with no break. Or if you prefer, you can opt for the carefree double jean roll. I definitely avoid wearing sneakers like these with a blazer as it just kind of has a dissonance between high, low, casual, that just doesn't feel right when you're wearing sneakers like these with a blazer and a necktie, for example. But you can wear them with a long line scoop neck t-shirt and a field jacket or technical jacket, and I think it'll look great. Finally, you can't go wrong with an untucked button down shirt for a casual weekend look, or if you're feeling more rebellious to go with a plain white tee and ripped jeans. Trend number four is the dad in latest fashions or the DILF. And it's not what it sounds like, but yeah. In a bit of a 90s revival, this retro trend includes dad hats, chunky sneakers, stone wash jeans, or overall lighter wash blue denim. Like the monochrome and clean tailoring trend, this one is also more of an aesthetic. It's casual and sporty and not just for dads anymore. Lots of younger guys are wearing the DILF trend these days and they're pulling it off in style. So how to wear the DILF trend? To pull off the DILF trend, you'll want a dad hat, preferably one with no logo. Bonus points if you have a pair of light wash faded jeans with a slightly roomier or relaxed fit. Add in a striped sweatshirt and you're well on your way towards sartorial DILF status. Seinfeld was the walking definition of the dad in latest fashion trend with his loosely fitted now retro inspired jacket and relaxed blue denim. Two additional pieces that adds to the dill factor is a pair of semi chunky sneakers and highly saturated color blocking. Bottom line is that a jeans wash is a key element to nailing this trend. So much so that pairing light wash jeans with a blazer qualifies as a much more elevated dill look. Finally style trend number five is the technical jacket. For the uninitiated the fashion and outdoor industries 
melded and Urban Techwear was born. As for the technical jacket, it's a hybrid where form meets function and a fancy way of saying a weather resistant or weatherproof jacket. Technical jackets come in all forms from bomber jackets and field jackets to puffer jackets and parkas. They often come with specially enhanced materials like ripstop fabrics with breathable and insulating properties which make them perfect for unpredictable weather and it doesn't have the extra bulk of a coat. Additionally, these anorak jackets or windbreakers most likely feature Gore-Tex waterproofing and a myriad of zippers and straps. As for how to wear technical jackets, when the mercury drops, technical jackets reign supreme. Not only are they functional to the core, they're ultra stylish, especially in colors like gray and black. The tech wear or street ninja aesthetic might make you look like a bit of a suicide bomber, so you gotta tread carefully. But a black and gray anorak paired with black cargos and a taper at the ankles finished off with black combat boots is street style ready. And though this is not a look for everybody, if you can pull it off, you're gonna look so badass. Alternatively, you can opt for a gray hoodie and a pair of runners, and you'll be the street team's Ezio from Assassin's Creed. And if you really wanna channel a street ninja vibe, throw on a face mask. And finally, since technical jackets have a tailored aesthetic, it makes for a streamlined, sleek silhouette that's ultra stylish in my opinion. They're the ultimate in form meeting function and definitely on the up and up in urban fashion trends for the future. Before we wrap things up, I got one bonus trend and that is sustainable clothing. Amidst the wastefulness and environmental impact of fast fashion, there are sustainable brands whose mission is to protect natural resources and help lead the world a better place for our next generations. And so you can feel good about buying from brands like Everlane, Apollos, Columbia, and Outer Known, knowing that your money is going to brands dedicated to combating the toxic nature of fast fashion. And I'm as guilty as everyone else for partaking in buying fast fashion as it's super convenient and affordable, but I think the trend towards more sustainable clothing is definitely a great one, and I look forward to seeing much more of that in 2019 and beyond. So yes, yeah, sustainable clothing, definitely a trend worth getting on board with. All right, thank you as always for watching, and if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you are new here, please consider subscribing, put out new videos like this weekly. That's all I got for this video. Cheers to your style, and I will catch you on the next one. Peace!